<laughs> so, so. Hello, everybody. We are in the year 1333 for the Ultimate Decades Challenge. I am so pumped. I have built this cute little barn and I have added the horse and brought Elwine and Elfrida home to the house. So we are a full house again, but it will probably not last too long because we have Harmony's birthday. Hopefully she'll live. I don't know how that's going to go. We have Runar dying very soon. We'll see how this goes. Miss Elfrida has a badonk donk on her. I can't really get over that. That's crazy. I think it, maybe it's the CC. I don't know. But yeah, so we have Smarty, our little mare. She's a little mare. And we're going to see how the girls do. All the girls will probably end up playing around with the pony. It's kind of a girl's thing, you know? Horse girls, we're everywhere. We have to go make a cake. I think it's an appropriate time to make a cake for Harmony. We have to review our rules for this life stage. So I'm going to have her make a cake really quick. Oh, wait a minute. Get a honey cake, perhaps? Um, can she not make a honey cake? Yes, she can. Don't burn the house down, okay? So Huxley has left the preteen stage, and we could probably marry him off. Let's find out what... <clears throat> Let's find out what's happening with Harmony first, shall we? Eleanor, come here and we have a sink. Like we do. I swear we have a sink and a garbage. We have a sink and a garbage. I'll do it myself. I really don't want Elfrida to move out. To be perfectly real. I really don't. So you walked past the stinky cat litter and decided it stunk but you weren't going to clean it. Clean it and then you may have that shower you were just trying to take. Sorry, my bad. For the Elder, she has to avoid rolling 13, 15, and 19. And if she survives, then we roll to find out how many more years she's going to survive. And then, let's not forget, I believe 1336 is Runar's death. Yes. So, we have three years left with Runar. No! I was looking at my other computer screen. <laughs> I love this game. I swear. I swear I love this game. And we're not going to have enough eggs. I think we only had, like, maybe we will. Okay. We no longer have the ingredients to make any cakes that I can see. So she's not going to have a cake because somebody ate it oh my god she is so freaking stunning oh my gosh look at runar in the background okay is harmony going to age up i don't know we oh, i don't like this i don't like this i don't like this <laughs> So 13, 15, and 19 are what we want her to avoid. Guys, she has to die. <sighs> she lived a good, long life. This is going to be a very difficult one, you guys. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, hold on. Okay, just hold on. Runar is going to be a widow for three years. We need to at least make sure. Hey! What? Edward? He's looking at his grandpa like that. Oh my god, he's so cute. Are you joking? That is so cute. Oh. Okay, anyway, this is a sad, sad day. I was trying to get them to, like, have a little goodbye. Hey. Oh. Tell her how much you love her. 
Dupe in a Larkin. Dupe in a Changle. Boona, 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 Boona. Ah, Yikla, Yikla. Zanush? Nibor Vyara, Lorda Hale. Oh, Torg. Revolfa Clogan. Oh. Yasmiz. Sure. Fuba. Oh, Wanusha. Oh. All right, y'all. Huxley. Hug your mom. Oh, you make my day so much better. <laughs> Harmony, you've made their lives so much better, honestly. That's right. We are so Thank grateful you. for Grant. you. You have been absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Oh. Okay, like. Oh. Carzini Pomeroy. Okay, oh, you're through ya. Oofa! Arabe. Alright. <sighs> Bye, Harmony. We love you. I don't think we'll plead for her. She did live a long life for the times. And we'll probably bump Runar up to Elder now. But we're not going to do a death roll because his aging got messed up, you remember. We did him with the original aging system. You guys have been so blessed to have her so long. Honestly, we really have. Grim, you are so rude. It smells clean in here. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Bye, Harmony. To the graveyard. Let's bump Runar up to Elder, so he'll start walking around like a little man. It's fitting. It's time. Now the game better not kill him early. That's my that's my concern with Elder, because maybe I'll, I can set it and he'll just die on us. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's old. He's an old widow. Oh, he's got all the grandkids to enjoy. And I don't know if he'll see Edward married. I don't know. We're taking it slow with Edward, so... Oh, we have to go get Daisy pregnant. I need to do that before I do anything else. So we have to go get Daisy pregnant. Um, I have to have a vampire wedding. And Harmony's birthday is done and over with. That was so unfortunate. And we should have rolls to do at Daisy's as well. But my brain is like pooping out. So let's go see. Okay. We have to age up Kofi. I think that's the name. Let's uh, get her pregnant really quickly. Oh, I failed. Okay, we'll do the makeover. I forgot to do the makeover. 
I'm going to try to say this correctly. <laughs> Apparently didn't quite have it right. Is it a day? A day? <laughs> Not a day? A day? <laughs> I don't know. We'll get it as close as we can. All right, let's do the aging up of the baby. And then we'll do makeovers. Okay, Kofi. Cautious. I think we just had another cautious bub. Gray hair. I don't think we can keep that bub. That's a little strange. 4, 12, 16, and 18 for our infants. Two living children in this house. All right, I'm going to go do their makeovers. Okay, here is Mr. Kofi. I went with like the lighter texture hair, but uh, not like the gray and I gave him textured hair. I apparently have a lack of textured hair for our little toddlers, but I did just keep the one that he had and they are all done. saying you gotta get married and he's like ugh, <sighs> not really wanting to do that just yet mom but it's 11 16 p.m she's probably not gonna come wait you you are not what oh he's still a pre how is he still a preteen oh well we just just in time I love Henry a lot, so I want to try to maintain him as a side household, and we're going to do it here at Thora's. He's just going to stay here. Nice. This is his estate. Oh. And we're... Oh, they hugged. How cute. Oh. Aww. We don't know how she feels about Henry, but last I knew, anyway. Yeah. Oh, that romance yeah. bar shot up. Wow. I thought he found her attractive. All right, where's my handy dandy notebook? Cuz. It was Rosalie. I'm so silly. That was so dumb. It's Rosalie that he likes. All right, send her away. 
Oh no! What are we gonna do? Who's Willow gonna marry? I want her to marry someone important. Oh, shucks. Okay. Okay. Wow. Those ram something's wrong in my game. Like those romances. Look at this. If she takes this first kiss, we're just marrying them. Try for baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, Henry. I don't know. I'm so conflicted about all these guys. Cause who's Willow going to marry? Can't be Huxley, cause they're not having kids. Uh oh. Who's she losing friendship with? He likes homebody sims. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what to do. <laughs> That was autonomous. All right, we just are going to have to go for it because, you know, at this time, Sims wouldn't really marry for love, you know? Oh, she's his crush, though. They don't really marry for love. But I did say in the last episode that it was going to be Henry and Rosalie. And I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I think Felix was the one who liked Willow. I think I got them mixed up. So let's just see if I can even set her as his wife right now. I don't know if I can... husband they're married we did it i did it i did it okay we need to add her to the family or not um they're gonna need a double bed would they have 10 tries i think or 12 tries what was it it was 12 12 y'all 12 we might have to give her a makeover to look a little more stately you know now that she's married to henry and living oh he's got a book stuck in his hand honestly um uh no no henry Henry, 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 what is going on? <laughs> Let's do that again, please. <laughs> All right, that is that. Okay, Henry and Rosalie are our next... This is the first sim going into the next generation. So we could stick them on my little information sheet. Oh, I forgot I was going to share that in this episode. She's thinking about the woohoo. So she must have found it good. It's not showing her living here, which is a little bit problematic. Okay, so it is actually showing her there. All right, so Henry and Rosalie. All right, Felix. Oh, he has no relationship with her. Basic looking. So Willow liked Felix. Felix doesn't like Willow. Oh, 
Randall likes deception. Well, your wife sure did deceive you, my dude. So, okay, I guess. Okay, so we can't do anything with Felix. We are going to invite him over when we invite the other girls back over for Edward. We'll have him meet some of them and see if any of them fly for him. So, let's do Margaret, Florence, Alice. Now that he has freaking romance with every last one of these girls. I mean, what the heck? He's going to be too sad to flirt. So, Edward ain't going to be hooking up at all. And then we'll invite Felix. Oh, but we're not playing as him. We might have to play as him once everyone gets over here so they can actually meet. Or I can just add friendship with them with MC Command Center. So that leaves us with Willow. Look at them. <laughs> that leaves us with Willow, Florence, Alice, and Margaret as options currently in our world. Am I just blind? Why don't I see Willow? I am so confused. Where is Willow? She like doesn't exist anymore. What? Weird. Maybe I'm just blind. Elwine, are you getting it with Florence here? Didn't actually introduce yourself though. Ask for advice. Is Alice here? What's she up to? Oh. Um, that's your mother, Sawyer. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. <laughs> um, if I make him get married right now, like... <laughs> He's so sad. I might just hook you up with Margaret. She's right here. You're chatting to her. That's probably where we're going to go with this. You and Margaret. You and Margaret. Oh, oh. Oh. He thinks she's stuck up. Did she... They don't have attractiveness. Come on, I gotta marry this boy off. My house is too small. Okay. They hate each other. <laughs> Maybe that's why they don't won't ever have kids. You know. Okay, he's chatting up with Florence. Elfrida, I haven't even thought about what to do with you, honestly. Friendly advice. Go chat to your potential future wife who you find extremely attractive. Hey, come back here, sir. Florence is leaving. Wait, wait, wait. Why is everyone leaving? It's 106. No. No. Have a gossip with her. No, come back. Right now. Huxley. 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 I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to bump your romance and I'm going to marry you to her. You're not going to have kids because you hate each other. That's what we're going with. And I'm so sorry, Huxley. I'm so, so sorry. Husband. Hux is married. 
you know, and I know like during this time they didn't have a lot of weddings. So we're just doing weddings for our main characters and our heir. Um, and even then, not always. So I don't want anyone to stress out about that. I don't know where they're moving to. They're probably going to need to move to Windenburg. I really am debating on Willow for Edward. It's going to bring them up in station. Alice's story. Their parents died mysteriously and they've been left to fend for themselves. So they're basically looking for husbands and just trying to survive. So they don't sound like they're of any upper station. And here's my main thinking. I feel like Runar is going to want to kind of like leave his legacy and know that they're moving up in the world. And the fact that Sawyer got himself into the situation that he got himself into can come back around in a way to allow for them to solidify themselves as maybe not as necessarily wealthy at the moment. Although I did sell off the inventories earlier. That's why we have 5,000 simoleons and I was able to build the barn. I cleared out inventories so i think it's that would really solidify that that tie that that bind with a wealthier more prestigious family so i feel like that might be something that no lecture about scratching thank you let me know in the comments what you think i'm not going to jump on anything right now but i do think that that's kind of something that would be going through their minds so felix i'm not real sure about at the moment um and he was here but i think he left but we took care of two of them in this year we're being kind of slow, which is not great for this challenge, but we have a lot of boys to marry off. So I feel like it's okay. Like we can, we can deal with it. Girl, what are you cooking? Don't do this to me. Now it's eggs and toast. It used to be cheese. No one is repairing this. So I'm repairing it. Oh my god, somebody get this cat litter box. Holy cow. I'll wind the evil. Get that. Really? Really? Honestly. How was he even cooking? He must have took over. Because he's not allowed in the refrigerator room the pantry as we would call it because it's not actually a refrigerator does he still find her extremely oh he doesn't his attraction went down for everybody oh no Um, he found her basic looking before. Edward, you're going to kill me. I can't see Willow because she doesn't exist right now. She is non-existent. She's, she's just a Sam that doesn't exist. Sister Anne. Aww. We don't ever see her. So people were asking about some of the other family members. It's just too much, okay? Look at all of the Sims that we currently are trying to see and keep up with and get to know and have friendships with. Like, people were asking about Lassie's sister. I actually have not looked to see where she currently is. Let's do a quick little... Thing to see if she even had kids because I left her unplayed. So, Agnes has not, she's married to Knox and they have not had children. Should we force them to or just continue to let them be? Lassie had enough children to kind of keep that line going. We just haven't seen Sigrid 
um, Edward did meet her when he was out and about, and I don't think that was on camera, but he does have a little bit of a relationship with her. Um, I can't believe Willow's not showing up. I want to see what his attraction is to her now. So weird. So weird. But yeah, he has... They're not compatible, but she is his aunt. And the first impression was distant, which is interesting because she did take off and never come back. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but they did meet at least. So that was nice. Just kind of in the wild they met. He has bad compatibility with Haywood. Okay, so I'm going to exit the game just to see if Willow shows up again. <laughs> And I can see what's going on there. Because if he's not feeling any type of way about any of the girls right now, maybe we'll see if he develops a crush. And then we're going to go for the best match. Let me see what... I don't think Florence had a story, so we could make one up for her. She does not have a story. She looks completely different in my game. This is very interesting to me because his attraction went down for everybody and it went up for Rosalie and Rosalie's now married to Henry. And I feel kind of bad because I didn't even, they're deeply connected. They are best friends. I think it's, I think it's for the best, but now he's attracted to her. So how does he feel about Margaret now? Okay, now he finds Margaret very attractive. Interesting. I want to see Willow, so I'm going to exit and come back in. All right, everyone. I'm shook. He doesn't know Willow anymore. This game sometimes is absolutely crazy. Did he flirt with Willow, too? Because I don't remember now. But I'm definitely going to give them friendship because no. Oops, no. How do you not know her? He still finds her basic looking. <laughs> what in the world? No, we're giving them at least like a little bit. Did he flirt with her or no? I don't remember now. But let's give it some time to develop the attractiveness because I'm very curious to see how he feels about her now. That his tastes are changing as he ages, I'm guessing is what that is. Now he's got to get to know her again. Basic looking, but okay. Okay, okay. They don't have that, like, attraction kind of thing. Who's going to be cooking now? Because this whole house is going to burn down. You're going to have to, like, get with it, girl, and, like, learn how to cook without killing all of us. I mean, realistically, some of these, like, when Edward gets an older wife, she shouldn't not know how to cook. At this time, they're going to know how to cook. I'll let it pass for, like, my teens who are just learning stuff, but even they should have a little bit. Everyone's got to reintroduce themselves to her. Willow, where are you going? So what was the deal now? It was Florence he found very attractive. Hey, Finn. Vapen. And that was it? Or Vapen no, it was Margaret. Yeah. And I married her to Huxley. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so he still finds Alice very attractive. So that could still be a thing. Willow would be the marriage of, like, convenience. It's going to help his family. But I don't think his family would make him. You know what I mean? They're going to say we would like it. But money and status isn't the most important to us. You know? But it would be a good thing for the family. And I think that 
Edward might be willing to to do that for his family. I might do just a little flirt. I want to see if he he hasn't developed a crush yet. Give her a gloomy compliment. Now, if this goes over okay, then it might be meant to be. Okay. He hasn't developed a crush yet, though, so... Eleanor and Edith are forgotten children. By the way, I'm kind of holding off on Folk for a minute. That Everything that he just went through was a major change. So I think he's going to try to get Mary back, but I don't think it's going to be currently. And man, his son is kind of following in his footsteps in a way. Like, he's kind of flaky. Like, he was all about Alice. Like, couldn't stop thinking about her. She thought she was so attractive. And then he just fizzles out completely. You guys... Holy crap. No. What? What? Why? This happened in another lot and I've never, I don't remember ever seeing this before. No. Why can't I remove it? It doesn't fit the time. What am I supposed to do? Why is it? Is this something they did with an update? Because if so, I want no part of that and I need a mod. Please just listen to me. It's just resetting him every time. Alright, I'm leaving. Felix. Felix, Felix, Felix. Basic looking. Basic looking. Una. Una. Married. Oh, Those are the only people he knows. Hmm. Alright, let's go see if he likes any of these orphan girls. Or there's only one, I think, that's a teen. You know what just occurred to me? I don't... Did I roll for Alfredo and Elwine to find out if they're going to have kids and get married? Basic looking. Should we just hook him up with her? Well, let's wait and find out what we're going to do with Edward. Let's do the rolls to see if they get married or not. Okay, one to three is never marry. So let's do Elwine first because he's right here. Elwine is not going to marry. Interesting. What about children? Should we see? Nine pregnancy tries? He is mean. We'll see. We'll either pursue no children because he's not getting married or he'll be like a hussy, you know? Okay, what about Miss Elfrida? I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't even want her to leave. So it's like, I'm almost hoping she doesn't <laughs> get married. But let's see. Will she marry? She's going to marry. Whoops. What about children? What? Elfrida. Don't you hate children? Literally, I believe she hates children. Oh no, this poor girl. This poor, poor child. Oh, no. <laughs> I shouldn't even laugh. That is terrible. Yes. That's that's bad uh, for you. She's going to cry about it. She is crying about it. 
All right, let's have a little May Day get together. Actually, ugh, I really need to, I need to move Huxley. Willow wants to be best friends. I'm pretty sure they have it now so you can have more than one best friend. But my brain's kind of short circuiting and I can't remember. So we're going to say, of course, and hopefully that doesn't change anything with Rosalie. We have Elfrida currently making some flour. Oh, she did it already. All right, pick all these up. All right, let's do some archery with you. Oh, they don't like each other. How about you do it with Willow? That'll be cute. I'm finally going to move this. Aren't you proud of me? Yeah, look at this. I didn't know I had this. We're not going to sell that. That's, um... That's extra. <laughs> We're not going to do that. However, it looks like I have to buy another fire pit. I think it would be cool. Let's put it in the cemetery. That'll be fun. We need to make music and make art, sing, tell stories, and drink, dance, and play music. We're also going to have a fire. Let's see your stance, bud. <laughs> nice. Not bad. All right, why don't you try that? I want to see. I want to see how you do. Practice singing while he plays. My little bean who's gonna have 12 babies. <laughs> she likes singing though. Oh, okay. I think it's Florence, Willow, and Alice, I think, is who we're going to. Ooh. Oh, ah. Elfrida. So what does he have to do to get over this fear of fire? Mary and Flo- Whoa. Mary and Florence are hanging out in this horrific room. Baranga. Miku. She still doesn't want to marry him. That's so weird. Wait, who just flirted? Did Edward flirt with her? That's all that's in here? Oh, poor folk might be alone forever now. Bro. Introduce yourself to her. Like, why are you rejecting my dad? I know he screwed up, but... Oh, she's back. She's just been running around. Just running. Where'd she go? Aaron. 
So he's he's not as into her now as he was, but of the girls, oh he is again. What a flaky, flaky boy. Okay, so we find her. It might be the outfits, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Let's go offer her a rose. No! No! Um. Let's have her go home for now. Because. Why are you taking a bath at our house? Are you that in need of a marriage? You have nowhere to bathe? Did you pee yourself? Literally everything is awful right now. Girl, can you like clean? <laughs> Yay, thank you. Harmony's gonna start washing these clothes in dirty water. You watch. Hurry up, Runar. Ooh, Hurry. Gotcha. Hurry! Oh, if you didn't stand there for seven years. Gosh darn it. So. Alright, replace Not the water. So replace the water before she starts doing the laundry. <laughs> Go! Go! <gasps> Thank goodness. She's gonna help with the laundry, but the water's not clean. It's going to just be pointless. Okay, that is a ridiculous amount of laundry. Like, I don't know what happened, but like the laundry exploded for no reason. And look at Harmony go. Look at her go. She's getting every last bit of it. Oh! <gasps> Uh, are my tub tubs broken again? <laughs> Nobody will bathe. Had this problem when I was playing live the other night. Okay, literally, we're just going to up the needs. I don't know. So cute. Cute little horseback rider. We gotta change it though, because she probably would be riding bareback or English. I don't think you can do bareback, which is really stupid. boys has to do some cleaning because yeah it's uh I don't know if any woman's gonna be coming into the house <laughs> cause Fulky's not <laughs> he's not having a good he's not having good luck with his relationships lately so okay you're kind of sweeping the wall but that's okay 
We are changing the world in this household. Our men are sweeping the floor. <laughs> Our men are indeed. All right, Folky, you need to take care of your cow. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to call this one just because I am kind of at a loss at the moment. I'm going to post the poll, so let me know what you think about our three ladies. We are going to... I'll take one more look at them for you. We have Alice, who he's kind of going back and forth on. He finds her extremely attractive again. She's an animal enthusiast and loves the outdoors. He's very attracted to her. She's kind of in need of a new life, a new home and a husband. And then we have... Florence we don't have much of a backstory for her so I was thinking kind of on the fly like she she's absolutely stunning so she's probably very much sought after for her beauty and maybe she's a little bit of a fallen woman in a way maybe something happened with her family and she's kind of just looking to settle down and live a quiet normal life and maybe try to inch her way back up into society and she's hoping that her good looks are going to help with that so that's kind of what i'm thinking for florence and then of course we have willow who would solidify our family ties to Damon, who is wealthy and it has a very good reputation in society. He's not really a noble, but he is wealthy and he's a tradesman and he is a very skilled artisan and has a very, 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 very good reputation. And of course, they adore each other. They're deeply connected. This is probably what the family would want but he does not find her attractive so yeah she's a horse lover and she is good so i'm going to leave it to those three options we forgot to look at florence's traits she's a genius and she loves the outdoors they have good compatibility out of the three he she's the only one that he has compatibility with out of these three ladies he had better compatibility with Margaret, but we married her off to Huxley. So yeah, that is where we're currently at with that. And let me know in the poll who you think that he should marry. And that is who we're going to hook him up with in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. That was a pretty fun 1333 except for harmony passing away so i that was bad um <laughs> hopefully better luck next time and i will see you then thank you so much for spending time with me and my sims and i will see you in the comment section have a good one no.